Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an updated palette collection. I have not done one of these since uh, January, so I thought that since my palette collection, collection has greatly grown this past you know, year, I thought why not? Um, some of these palettes I did not buy, some I got them as gifts, some are from gratis at work, some of them got like... I used coupons on, so I did not pay full price for all of these. Yeah, so I will get started. I have like two huge baskets. Let me show you. Okay, I'm just gonna show you one. Like, oh gosh, this is like full pellets. I have another one sitting on my desk. I'm not gonna move it. And I have a drawer of like my smaller pellets. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, first are my two lovely Tutti Fruity palettes from Too Faced. This is the Razzle Dazzle Berry. Looks like this. You probably already know what this looks like. It is so pretty. I love these shadows so much. This is the Sparkling Pineapple. I love both of these so much. They are such good quality shadows. If you are looking for, you know, a fun purple palette, you know, go to Ulta and check out this one because it is so freaking good. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Like, I'll let you know if something doesn't work. And I mean, I, I decluttered a lot of makeup about a month ago because it wasn't good. Alrighty, so next I have the Tarte Foil Finger Paints Shadow Palette. This is a little bit destroyed right in this one. This one called Sea Glass. So, that's what it looks like though. It's really pretty, I really like it. It's beautiful metallics, um, really great. I don't really use much of the reds, the red shade or the glitter shades. They are very soft, so you really have to be careful when using them because they will crack and break. <laughs> Next, this came in a boxy charm. This is the Pure Midnight Masquerade Face Palette. Comes with a couple blushes, what's supposed to be a bronzer. But this is the most shimmery thing I've ever seen. Um, and six eyeshadows. I'm not gonna lie, I have not used this yet. I've used the blushes, but I have not, you know, gone ahead and sampled the eyeshadows for myself. So I'll have to try that and let you know what I think. Next, I have the Morphe 9C. Oh my gosh, this is the Jewel Crew palette. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my god. I love it. It is so pretty. I love the purples. I love this gold in there. You can do a very warm look. You can do a cool look. Um, I got this in gratis. So I really like this palette. I think Morphe eyeshadows I'm going with like the big trend, but I think they're really good. Don't kill me. Next I have my Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions. Oh my god, look at this. These are like my kind of colors. Oh my gosh. Um, the shimmers are so beautiful. I wish they have this kind of quality in like their bigger palettes because I noticed they're not the same, which is so frustrating. This palette I actually got from a Sephora 500 point perk and it just has like some of their top eyeshadows. Now they have like Fireball, Backfire, Righteous, and Backdoor. I'm gonna tell you right now, Fireball is not my favorite shade, but and I got it because I wanted to sample more Urban Decay single shadows and these are just four of them right here. Your girl loves Too Faced. She's got the peanut butter and jelly and the peanut butter and honey. The honey just has that cool pop of yellow. Peanut butter's got that iconic Too Faced peanut butter shade and then the jelly purple right over here. Um, I got this from one of my friends at work, Emily. You rock. Um, it is the Tartlet Flirt. So and I really wanted to try this, but I don't know, something was like, I don't know, if I got it as a gift, I would like it, but I don't want to buy it. You know what I mean? Everybody has those kind of things with palettes. I next have this one. It's the Urban Decay and Kristen Leanne palette. This is just the five matte shades. I didn't get the big one. I thought that was kind of, mm, I just, it did not appeal to me at all. But these ones are such beautiful mattes. If you just want a quick look on the go, that is there for you. Next, this is my last one. You guys probably already know. Marc Jacobs. <laughs> Editorial. Oh yes, look at those colors, honey, yes. I need to use this more. Next time, my Winky Luxe Kitten Palette. This is from a BoxyCharm. And this is such beautiful colors. 
I love this really nice gold in here. It's got a really cool duochrome gray stormy blue. Another duochrome thing over here. We got a really nice matte shades. Winky Bucks knows how to do eyeshadows, and I feel like they're so underrated. Um, definitely check out Winky Lux for shadows. They're sold at Riley Rose, and they're the bomb. I also have my Too Faced chocolate chip, white chocolate chip palette. Some very light shades. I do, I am a sucker for mini Too Faced palettes, and I do want to get the peach one and the sugar cookie mini palettes. Ugh, I shouldn't though, but I really want to. <laughs> um, this I also got in a boxy charm. It's the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal. I know my anti haul, I said that I don't really support her. Um, I'm sorry, but I have this palette because it was sent to me in my box to try. I'm not gonna lie, I have not used this very much, but when I, for when I have, it doesn't blend that well, and it's very, like, dry, and I hate that in an eyeshadow. I hate it when it's super dry, and so with this one being dry, I, like, kind of annoys me. I have a couple of Smashbox things. I consider this a palette. Um, because it's like one of my favorites. It's the Smashbox Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio and Pick Me. It has some really pink, pretty pink glitters and then a really nice matte shade over here. Oh my gosh. This, you need to get. This is at a Sephora exclusive, but amazing. I have two of the Cover Shot palettes. I have a Blaze, which is that one. And then Golden Hour, which is that one. Honestly, they're not my favorite, but I'm not gonna like let them go to waste, if you know what I mean. So I will still use them, but they're not something that I'm like, oh my gosh, like you're gonna get one eyeshadow palette, you just gotta get these, because I don't think they're that great. Next I have three bigger, bulkier palettes that do not fit anywhere in my collection, so they're just kinda, they just kinda sit out on their own. I made a video about this one. It's so obnoxious. It's the Sephora Into the Stars palette. It's literally a big freaking gemstone. It has like the little things that pull out. And then you open up the top. And it's like a bunch of eyeshadows. Honestly, I don't reach for this too much. Um, I don't really know why I bought it. Uh, but I'm gonna use it. I mean, because I bought it, but uh, I no longer buy Sephora collection makeup because they test on animals. And people who test on animals suck. Yeah. I'm going to use it since I bought it, but I will not be purchasing anything from the Sephora collection makeup brand. Next, I have two Tarte Holiday 2017 ones. This is this was the Ulta one. They don't smell like the regular Tarte ones, which kind of annoys me. So you get the highlighter, two blushes, and a bronzer. I'm wearing this bronzer today. Um, yeah, there are some, Tarte makes some dang good eyeshadows. Like, look at that. This one is Tarte. Oh my god. I think that these are really nice. I like how this one's like a square. The ones this year are like pineapple shaped, and I'm not really feeling those. I do like just like these kinds though. And this one is the Sephora one, it's the Hidden Treasures one. So, like, you'd open this up. And you can, they came with like a mascara, something else, so. A little less eyeshadows, but it came with two full-size blushes, two bronzers, and then a huge highlighter right here, which is amazing. Sorry, my phone is buzzing. So the basket I have on my desk right now is palettes that I would really like to reach for more. And I keep this up for a couple weeks, and then I will switch it up, and I'm like, okay, you know, um, I'm gonna take this one out, but I'm gonna add this one in. I just want to make sure that I use everything in my collection instead of just like using the same five and just, you know, letting, le leaving it be because I think that is such a waste. So these are just palettes that I am reaching for more lately. So the first one is this Violet Voss HG Holy Grails palette. Looks like this. Um, I got this in my Boxy Lux this month. Oh my gosh, this is such a nice quality palette. Um, Violet Voss knows how to do some eyeshadows as well. First, I have my Morphe 39A. Such a beautiful palette. It's huge though. Huge, every crease color known to man on here. I'd like to reach for this one more in the next coming weeks. It's kind of dirty, but it's fine. And then I also have my James Charles palette from Morphe. And 
The other reason why I say I want to reach for this more is because I have not played with this enough and I really want to play with it more. Um, I did some really beautiful purple looks, blues. I really want to try out some more neutral looks though that I could wear to work. Next I have my Rude Cosmetics Twinkle in Her Eyeshadows 35 palette. So it's kind of like a book almost. <laughs> but yeah, this, these are all the colors. Or if you want to hold it like this. Um, lots of shimmers, not a whole lot of good mattes for your crease, for like transition shades. Um, some of these these colors down here, oh my god, they are so good. I wish they had just like one or two more warm tone mattes because this one right here, I didn't swatch it very well. But it's just like almost taupe. And I don't really want to taupe my crease. I would like more of a warm brown that kind of brings a little, just has a little bit of life to it. So... I'm trying to use this one more. This is my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. This one has been loved. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at this baby. Oh my god. Um, I just want to reach for it more because it's such a beautiful palette and yeah, it's dirty as heck. <laughs> Next I have the 35N, which I also got from a friend at work. This is just like typical matte shades. I love this palette because I love how there is every kind of neutral color in here that you can use for your crease, outer corner, everyday look. I think it is so great and so handy to use, especially when you're doing other people's makeup as well. Next is the oh so controversial um, Emily Edit by Makeup Revolution. This is the Wands palette. But yeah, look. Oh my gosh, I love this palette. I don't know why people are saying like, oh, it's bad. <laughs> because... There's nothing bad with it. Love the mirror, and it's twenty freaking dollars. Twenty dollars. I have the Too Faced Best Year Ever palette. Comes with the blush, bronzer, highlighter, and then it comes with all these shadows. These are very beautiful. So I'm gonna use that more. And my Christmas in New York from Too Faced. Ooh, I like that one too. I love this chocolate covered strawberry blush. It's like a cool toned. Why do I do this? Why do I swatch like this? It's that one right there. <laughs> but I'd like to use this a little more before it gets bad. I don't really know why I bought this one. I'm kind of pissed that I bought this one at all. Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette. And it comes with like a more colory jewel tone side and then your neutral side. All metallic shimmers. While this is a really good concept, I'm a little upset at myself for buying this because I feel like this is the last thing I need. Next, I'm using this more and I just, I cannot get over Lorac shadows. This is the Beauty and the Beast palette from Lorac. And I don't really like how, how spread out these are. I feel like the shadows could have been a little bigger. But I did wear this the other day to work and oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Like, beautiful mattes. I'm really impressed with the mattes in this palette. Um, any Lorac shadows you can't go wrong with because they're great. I love them. Next I have my Too Faced Natural Love Palette. Get all those beautiful colors. Um, the only downfall with this palette is that it's almost 100% shimmer. Eight shades out of 25 that are matte. The rest of these are shimmer. It's okay. Like, it's fine, but yeah. I would really like to use this more. The next one I like to use more is the Beauty Daydreamer palette from Too Faced. This is a holiday one from this year. Oh my god, look at that. The shimmery blush. I don't really know what that's supposed to do, but not a fan. This um, highlight. Oh no, this is not good. The shadows on the other hand, I really like. I love the metallics in this. It's beautiful. I mean, I don't really like some of the miscuous names that come with some colors in this palette like we have like we have North Pole Dancer Resting Grinch Face I think that was kind of funny Naughty Navidad like that's a little it's a little a little weird so next I have the Melissa Michelle Bling on the Glam palette with her collab with Ulta Beauty oh my gosh guys if you have not gotten this palette I highly recommend this it comes with the glitter eyeliner but it's with my eyeliners but this is so good. Okay, Ulta Beauty is so overlooked and I get it. I know, some of their products, some products suck. Okay, I'm just gonna be flat out with you. Um, this one doesn't, 
So if you're near an Ulta, I think these are half off, so it'd be 10 bucks to get this. Such a good deal, so worth it. I have the Best Year Ever palette to face the smaller version. Beautiful colors. I got this in a boxy charm, I think in October. This is the Pretty Vulgar Nighting, Night, Nightingale, Nightingale um, palette. Very cool tone, very like smoky and whatnot. I haven't used this one yet because I need to know I need, I need someone to wear this, and I don't really want to wear this like a smoky eye to work. Like in my other job, I'm at it, Ulta. Ulta, I'll literally wear whatever I want. <laughs> and then I have the three mini palettes from this year's holiday, last year's holiday collections. I have like the Natural Beauty, which is all that, Super Fun Night, which still is not that great. And I Believe in Pink. So I'm trying to use those. Next, I have my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I bought it at Nordstrom Rack. Hey, this set got some dang good quality shades in here. And I was like looking through it, I'm like, dang, I need to use this more. This is actually like really good. It's like the three trees where they're like, oh my God, this is magnetic. Guys, this is magnetic. So this bottom one has a bunch of really cool colors. The only thing that really makes me cringe about this is the velvet, like, <laughs> makes me not want to touch it. Yeah. Got this one right here. This one has three face products in it. Next I have Huda Beauty Desert Dusk. When I was talking about the Mauve Obsessions palette, honestly though, like this could be so much better. Some of these shades, like this amethyst shade, the, the really bright purple. Like here it is, it's not even that great. Like, but that's watch, what? Um, some of these more matte shades are very dry. And I cannot stand that, like I said earlier, I cannot stand that with a shadow. Like there's some right here, but this is a crown beauty palette. I got this on a BoxyCharm, haven't used this too much. Kind of reminds me of Naked Heat. I don't know, I don't find myself reaching for this. Be a Mermaid and Make Waves palette from Tarte. This is such a cute palette. Originally I was like, I'm not getting it. And then I saw it and I'm like, you know you're a sucker for Tarte, like stop. <laughs> Tarte and Too Faced, I think, are my two big things that I'm like obsessed with. So Tarte did it right with this palette. Beautiful shade quality. They did not like. They did not skip on anything like that. They could have added more blues and greens. Um, their thing is to add a lot of neutrals. I get that, but Tarte really likes some greens and blues in that palette. This next one is the Make Believe in Yourself from Tarte. This is like the unicorn one. So beautiful. I love the blues, the purples. Um, oh gosh, so pretty. And I love the way Tarte shadows smell. They smell like vanilla. Oh my gosh. I just love Tarte shadows in general. I have this set from Two Faces is a Holiday Set. Gingerbread Cookie. I'm doing this blush today. Here. So we got, this is Eggnog Latte. And then Peppermint Mocha. More pinky shades in here. So, all those. Very cute, just want to use more. Next one is this Ace Beauty Grandiose Palette. Boxy Charm in November. I just need to use this more. I haven't used it, and like a lot of my Boxy Charm palettes, I don't reach for. I really need to. Next, I have my I Want Candy palette from Candy Johnson and Too Faced. Um, I kind of regret buying this one actually. I think it's, I think it's kind of boring, but I'm gonna use it. Uh, I'm not gonna neglect it. I'm not gonna waste my money. So, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it, and I'm gonna have a good attitude. I wish this had a mirror. Why doesn't this have a mirror? This is me off. I have two Lorac palettes. This is the Unzipped Ocean Sunset. This the dark blue in the corner kind of did a little explosion, but all the other shades in here are so beautiful and perfect. The next one I have is Mountain Sunset. This is more cool toned. Really up my alley. It reminds me of Colorado. This next one is the Lorac Pro 4. Oh my gosh, this was like my holy grail, like the OG high-end palette for me. I use this thing every freaking day. I just don't use it much anymore and I'd like to get back into using it. Have the original, the discontinued naked palette. Yeah, I don't really know why Urban Decay has this need to like discontinue this. I think it's because they want to bring it back and they don't really, they needed a good marketing strategy. Next I have the Pinky Rose Cosmetics Bright Lights palette. Oh my gosh, this is like rainbow. Some awesome glitters in here, pinky rose glitters. 
do not disappoint. Look at that. They definitely do not disappoint. Um, I have two of the glare palettes, which... Oh! Uh, one fell out, I guess. This does not disappoint. I have three of my Anastasia palettes right here. Um, Prism. I need to use this more. I want to incorporate more color into my looks. That is like a goal of mine. I just feel so self-conscious when I do. Hopefully it gets better. <laughs> then I have Subculture, which is this one. People are like, oh, it's so powdery. I love this. Modern Renaissance. Oldie but a goodie. Yeah, I'm just gonna give give it some more love. Two Bare Minerals palettes that I'd like to keep continue using. This is the Bare Minerals Hidden Treasure. I regret buying this one so much. Look at these. They all look the same. I'm just really pissed that I bought this because I feel like that this was a waste of my money. But I'll use it. I'm not gonna waste it. I do like the Bare Essentials palette. This one has beautiful purple tones in it. They could have gone a little more with the purples, to be honest. But it's Bare Minerals and the average Bare Minerals customer. I'm looking for bright colors. Next, I'm wearing a mixture of all three of these on my face today. Like I said in my Get Ready With Me, I like mixing different colors, different palettes together to create like one like perfect look. So I am using all three Choco Bar palettes from Too Faced today. So I have Original, of course, Semi Sweet, and the Bon Bon. And then we have another Retired Naked, the Smoky. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, baby. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they, con they can discontinued this either because this is bomb and they brought it back on Black Friday at Ulta. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, stop. I have the Morphe Boss Mood 35M palette. This is the one with all the funky greens. I will definitely, I don't want to use do a look with this, but it's not in my, I need to reach for more basket, so. And I have another Morphe. I have the 35V, which is the Stunning Vibes palette. This is more of the blues. All that good stuff, oh my gosh. So pretty. And then I have the 3502 from Morphe as well. This is one of the bright reds in it. Next to the BH Cosmetic Zodiac palettes. Oh my God, they're so good. This is the original. And it kind of looks a little boring, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't really catch my eye, but I bought it at Riley Rose. Girl, you did not disappoint me. It's so beautiful. Then I saw that BH Cosmetics came out with a Love Signs palette. Look how fun this is. This is so bright and like summery. And they always have a big highlighter in the middle. So, oh my gosh, both of these. Girl, go get you some. Like, this is amazing. BH Cosmetics is so underrated with their eyeshadows. I think they are phenomenal. We have the Galaxy Chic, which I have had for a while. That one's really good big eyeshadows. And then the Aurora Lights. Oof. Good job, this is amazing. Like they have like like the eyeshadow toppers, they have more metallics and they got more satin finishes and beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I cannot say enough good things. My favorite BH palette of all time is Desert Oasis. I love Desert Oasis. I love the highlighters in here. I love the eyeshadows. I use these as eyeshadows. I don't really ever put these on my face. Um, some of them are just like a hair too dark. Like. Like, they're just a little too dark. The blues in here are kill it every time. This was like 20 bucks. And those shimmers are freaking amazing. They're so good. I have both of the Take Me Back to Brazil palettes. Um, I have the original, which is just the all matte one. And then the Rio edition, which is the all shimmer one. I need to go, I need to use those more to like kind of go more in depth with color. But. I got other things to use right now. You guys already saw this in my Get Ready With Me, but Thirsty from Jeffree Star. It's a good palette. Um, these are both from Pinky Rose Cosmetics. These are um, glitter palettes. So they don't really have a name, but this is the more neutrally one. So got a lot of gold, like a green in here, some pink, silvers. Just kind of like your everyday, like not crazy toned glitter. And then you got the rainbow one so i love this one some of these more like cool tone pinks down here oh i love it i love it i really like these because they have this like really creamy formula to them where you can easily like pack them on top of shadow and they don't give fallout these are so underrated i feel like people should be talking about these more 
So yeah, go check it out. Next I have the um, Tarte and Aspen Ovard palette. I got this because I thought this was like a wedding day with palette. Um, not saying I'm getting married anytime soon, but I thought this was just so beautiful. If I needed like an effortless look for like a big event, this is the one. I use this sometimes for work or if I have like an important, like for my recital, my senior degree recital, I wore this because I thought that it looked very classic. Nothing could really top it. Next two um, palettes I both got in BoxyCharm. This is the Pure Cosmetics Soiree Diaries. That one. Mm -hmm. Then I have the BoxyCharm and Pure Palette Collaboration. So that's pretty cool. Then I have the Tartist Pro Palette from Tarte. Lots of nice matte shades. I wish these shimmers, like the purpley one right here, I wish that was, was a little nicer. It just like, when you swatch it, it looks brown. And I got one in a purple. <laughs> like, I know they came out the Remix palette, but I anti-hauled that and I'm not gonna buy it. I just think that like, I have enough color, you know? I have both of my Tartlet palettes. I don't have the matte one, but I have Tartlet and Bloom, which is again, one of these most perfect palettes, just like the Aspen palette. And then the Tartlet Toasted, which is warm tone, like cozy one. I have two ColourPop palettes and I would love to get more into ColourPop. Oh my gosh, I'm so interested in getting to like know them. This is the Rendezvous palette. Beautiful, got a nice pop of blue. Beautiful brassy gold in here, a nice um, cranberry shade. Definitely recommend this. And then the Chasing Rainbows one. This is from their holiday collection, I think, this year. They have some really cool colors in there too. I mean, we got that yellowy color. We got some duochrome. Um, really nice array of mattes. And their shadows are so freaking soft. Like, they're not soft where it'll, it'll just crumble. Next, I have my BH Cosmetics Royal Affairs palette. Y'all already know. It's not my favorite palette, but I'm gonna sleep with it. I have the other, like, biggest controversy of freaking 2018, the Vault palette. Of course, I have the Vault. Um, mine were really great. Mine had nothing wrong with them, so when people are like, oh, they're patched and they're not blending, and I'm like, mine rock. Like, I don't know. But I have the Armed and Gorgeous. Oh, gosh. Mm, they're so good. Bling Boss. Um, ring the alarm and then this is dark magic. Yeah My least favorite one is dark magic It's because they're not colors. I really reach for but It like it makes me experiment more with them. So that's why I like them. I have the just peachy mattes from Too Faced Y'all know what that looks like too and the Too Faced life's a festival peace love and unicorns palette the one that's shaped like a rainbow um, this like the unicorn tears. I think this is supposed to be a highlighter, but like it's unicorn tears. So it has like that purpley blue duochrome. It's really nice. And you have your mattes in here. So you can, you can create like a matte, you can create your matte base and then you can go in and add some real crazy shimmers. And then the weekend festival palette from BH. Oh my God. I love this. You already know though. It's no surprise to you, so. <laughs> this is another BoxyCharm palette. This is the Elmar Cosmetics um, Reina de Caribe palette. I know they came out with the volume two. I'm not gonna get it. Just because I have enough eyeshadow palettes, I wanna use what I have. Um, you saw in my video before, like in the summer, uh, my lovely friend Elgin got me the Norvina palette. Update, Norvina is like my favorite palette ever. As you can tell, it's been very well loved. It's it's quite messy. This is so good. So freaking good. Oh my gosh, I love it. So thank you, Elgin, for that. He also bought me my Jaclyn Hill palette, so um, he's really an OG best friend. We're on like three and a half years friendship, so we're staying strong, Elgin, aren't we? Sultry palette from Anastasia. Oh my god, I wasn't originally gonna get this. And then I realized I had enough points from Ulta to get it, and this did not disappoint. I mean, the shimmers in here are just beautiful, beautiful. I like the more cool toned looks in here. Like, I like the shade Cyborg in here. And I have Born to Run. Born to Run, I feel like it's like missing something. Like, I feel like it needs like one more, like instead of like double life, <laughs> whatever, it needs like another matte color for the crease. 
that's not, you know, orange like this one. It needs something a little more like Riff. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. Oh my gosh, this is such a beauty too. Really nice quality eyeshadows. I think Too Faced really does get it right when it comes to shadows. And like some of these like metallics even, you'd think like, mm, they'd be chunky. And like the amount of glitter that it just like perfects it and it looks so beautiful. So this is a really good palette. Clover palette from Too Faced. Um, it's called a girl's best friend eyeshadow palette, but I did buy this because um, they donated the proceeds to um, animal shelters. So this is such a fun palette too. I love this blue in here. The yellow is like something fun. Really great array of matte neutrals. Um, Daddy's love me. I love that color. Um, these shimmers though and the lucky clover one green up here. Really a great color. I don't think they sell this anymore. It would be on the Too Faced website. Lastly, but not leastly, the Sweet Peach palette, the original, the OG. Yes, okay, this is so good. I love the smell of it. It really brings me back to like summer and happiness when it can get dark at, you know, noon. That's all my palettes. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this very lengthy video. I will try and cut this down as much as I can. Yeah, now you get a view of what I have, and if you'd like to see any looks of any of these palettes, don't be afraid to ask. And don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, ring my bell, and yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.